Hello and welcome to this brief introduction to the latest macro that I created, which was inspired by this plugin by Red Giant Chromatic Displacement, which is of course for After Effects and it ships for $99, which is not very cheap. So I, am, I thought why not having something similar into Fusion for free. So the first thing that we have to consider is that uh, we will need a background image and some kind of displacement map and those need to have the same resolution so for example in this case I have um, a background which is more than 5000 pixels and the displacement map which is 1920 by 1080 so the first thing to do is to take care of that and I'm gonna do it with a letterbox Okay, here it is. So now I can bring the chromatic displacement in. Okay, now as you can see we have two inputs, one for the background and one for the displacement. Let's view the displacement. So I'm not going to explain every single control that we have because most of them are self-explanatory. So uh, the first thing that I'm going to do is play with the height and the refraction and we can already see uh, this glassy look which, you know, some spread maybe will look a bit nice here and then maybe go into the chroma control, add some softness, maybe some lens aberration and, you know, this looks kinda cool and, you know, it's nice but let me, let me, let me do something a little bit more exciting, a little more fun so let's go back into the chromatic displacement and maybe play a little bit more with the height and the refraction and maybe with the spread um, something very interesting are these alpha controls so you can use the alpha of your displacement map if of course it has one which in this case is true or if you don't have an alpha you can use the luminance channel as one and you also have this cutout mode which is really handy because it's you know an alpha multiplication and this gives us more room for fun so let's bring in a blur node which I'm gonna pipe right before the chromatic displacement and, and I get this kind of polished metal look which is really nice then let me add also uh, the focus so let's get rid of the bloom maybe 15 and let's merge the displacement on top so now we have this kind of nice separation and I'm gonna play a little bit more with with this and let's maybe also use this light power which is um, a light on an angle which is something nice to have maybe we can use also some custom transform what you can do is flip the image the background image uh, horizontally or vertically or rotate it or maybe we can scale it which is what I'm gonna do here so maybe we, we want to add some more blur down here and back to chromatic displacement so maybe a little bit more height and a little bit more spread and maybe we can add some linear aberration which is nice and maybe we can play a little bit with this fall off which is very similar to um, light wrap so um, maybe just a touch more blur and maybe a touch less light yeah this looks this looks cool. Let me give you a different example. So here I have this footage that I downloaded from the internet which is a kind of spooky night scene with a fake uh, camera shake and I have 
this beautiful 3D guy which I keyed conveniently to have an alpha channel and of course I had to match the resolution which were different and uh, I did it with a letter box again and then I tracked the street so I could place the guy on uh, the ground and then I used the chromatic displacement to have a kind of cloaking effect again I'm using the cutout mode and when merged it looks kinda cool let me give you a playback so as you can see there's some nice displacement with some nice chromatic aberration going on maybe here is a bit too much but you know I just wanted to show you what you can do with this so let me give you one more example here I have this footage which I'm sure you have never seen before I wanted to combine this background with these elements which again you probably know where they're from so I had to match the resolution which I did with a letterbox and of course I'm gonna use these a shockwave as a graphical element but also I'm gonna use it as a displacement map and here is what happened So as you can see some nice displacement with some nice chromatic aberration but um, there is something that I want to point out here. Let me bring another copy of the chromatic displacement and as you can see even if I have no displacement map piped in the playback slows dramatically. So I added this global bypass which bypasses everything so when it's on you get all your FPS back so what I did here is actually animate the global bypass and I have a very faster render time here is the result okay one last example here I have this photograph which I color corrected and used a letterbox to match the resolution of my displacement map I added this text with some defocus I guess you already know that where this is headed this is my displacement map which I use with my chromatic displacement in cutout mode and merged on top of my background what I what I wanted to show you is this handy control in the alpha controls which is really useful when you deal with with this kind of mm, weak alphas so if you wanna to have a better result you know you can just use these controls and you get this nice result let me give you a playback So, this is it, thank you very much for watching and see you soon.